Hey everyone, welcome back to The Tune Project. Today I'm going to be walking you through step by step how to play double stops on the violin. If you find this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to The Tune Project's channel, go ahead and click that red subscribe button below. And also click the bell so that you can stay up to date on all of my future videos. Now, double stops are one of the more tricky things when it comes to playing fiddle tunes. So if you're struggling with getting the hang of double stops or if they're just something that you're curious about how to do, then just keep watching. So we're going to be starting by playing a double stop on the A string and E string together. So what we're going to do first is place our bow on the A string. Okay, and then what you're going to want to do is rotate your bow. So lowering your elbow just so slightly and keeping an eye on your bow at the same time so that you can see when you meet the halfway point between the A string and the E string. And that's where we will start to play our double stop. So once you feel like you have a good balance between the A string and the E string where your bow hair is flat on both strings, there's an equal amount of bow hair on each of the strings, then you are set up and ready to go. And now that you're set up, you are ready to play your double stop. So when it comes to playing double stops, most people have a tendency to press harder into each of the strings because we're playing two strings instead of one, when in fact, it's the opposite that you should be doing. We should be using even a little bit less pressure, um, at least even, but maybe even a little bit less than you would if you were playing on one single string. So if we press too hard, we'll squash the sound, and, and we don't want to do that. We want to have a nice even tone, and we want it to be able to resonate and carry through. So we want to place an even amount of bow on each string, no pressure, just hold the bow lightly and think of guiding the bow rather than manipulating it in any certain way. Our bow is already set, it's good to go, it knows what it needs to do, all we're doing is just guiding it through. So now that we're here in this position and ready to play, we're going to start by playing a simple shuffle pattern. So that sounds like this. <laughs> rhythm is just long, little, long, little, and we play that same thing four times in a row. Okay, and now this is something that you're likely, if, you're, if this is your first time playing double stops, you're probably not going to get it perfectly on the first try, so don't get too frustrated with yourself. I know it can be frustrating if you hear one string more so than the other, but if that were to happen, so let's say for example I'm playing my double stop and maybe E is coming through a little bit louder than A, well then I know exactly what I need to do. I need to simply rotate my bow so that it's more in line with the A string and that should balance things out. Same thing goes for the opposite. If you are leaning into the A string a little too much, just bring your elbow slightly down to the E level and just make sure visually everything looks balanced. And I made a tutorial a while back for Boil Them Cabbage Down, and that is a great tune that you can play to practice double stops. So I'm going to play that tune quickly, but if you're not familiar with this tune already, go ahead and check out that video and I'll leave it up here in the cards. to play double stops on the violin. So hopefully you found that to be helpful. Like I said, you know, this just takes practice as with any technique that we come across. So just be kind with yourself as you're practicing these and as you're going through this process. It's not easy and it's one of those things that you just need to work at and just be diligent about practicing. But just by watching this video, you've already taken the first step in achieving double stops. So congrats to you and best of luck with this process. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Happy practicing!